very loyal, very proud, probably have some feelings of superiority. Vampires look down on witches and demons, I mean, because they've lived for so long and they've accumulated so much knowledge. Very strong characters and very glamorous. Very shrewd, very sharp, just not somebody you'd want to cross. And we're all very still and very stoic. Vampires in this are almost quite wolf-like. They live in sort of close siring families. Pack mentality. Pack mentality, absolutely. Family first, above yeah, everything. Completely. They have great smell and great hearing. So he can hear heartbeats change. And the blood pumping around the body. Walk past me slowly. Which blood sings to them. No. Sudden movement. They are sort of literally intoxicating. There's times where Julia is trying to find her prey. She has this vampire thirst. If you're going to play a vampire, you want a bit of vampire action, don't you? The only way you can save his friend is to sire him. But unfortunately, it fails. DNA of the vampires is getting weaker, and it's harder to create more vampires, which means that eventually they're going to die out. Think of the risks you took. You could have been seen. Of all of the daddies in the world, I think Matthew is a pretty hard one to please. Where were you? two nights ago. You've got to be careful, because you still are living amongst humans. <laughs> Joubert is clearly terrifying. And he's very mean to her, and he's able to control her. Juliet is a puppet and gets pushed and pulled in all directions. Joubert wants a lot of power. His family used to be in power, and then it shifted to the Declaremonts. There's always this repositioning going on. They seem very febrile in relation to their power, always on the lookout for someone threatening it, even within the vampire family. 